What's up, Bell Penguins? Today we're going to do a little AP Bell Math Minute looking at chi square. So purple kernels are dominant to yellow kernels, and we want to cross a purple and a yellow plant together. We see that the offspring are 432 purple and 345 yellow. We want to calculate a chi-square that the null hypothesis is that the purple plant is heterozygous. We want to give that number to the hundredths place. So first thing we're going to do is we need to figure out what is our expected. So we're going to do a Punnett square to see what do we expect for the ratio of the offspring if the parents are um, heterozygous for purple and, of course, homozygous recessive for yellow. We see that we get one half being purple and one half being yellow. So we're going to use this to find our expected later. So the equation for chi-square is the observed minus the expected squared over our expected. And we're going to do the summation, so we'll add each of those values together. So I always use this little chart whenever I solve it. Um, and so in the chart, we're going to fill in our phenotypes. So our purple and our yellow will be filled in. Then we're going to fill in our observed. So we'll go back up to the question to see what our observed is. We see that we, uh, bleh, we observed 432 and 345 yellow. So we'll add those together. That gives us 777. So we're going to use that total multiplied by the probabilities that we expected. So I expect there to be 388.5 of each of these different phenotypes. So we'll do our observed minus our expected, which gives us 43.5. Then we're going to square that value, which gives us 1,892.25. Then we'll take that value and divide it by our expected, which gives us 4.87. Now we're going to add these two together to get us that summation, which gives us 9.74. So this is our calculated chi-square value. But what does this tell us? None tells anything. So now we have to look at our chi-square chart. So we see that we have a degree of freedom of 1 because I had two different phenotypes, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So based on the chart, I see that my table value of 3.84 is less than my calculated value. So I'm going to reject my null hypothesis because um, what we're seeing here is that our data did not follow what we expected. And so since it didn't follow what we expected, we need to reject that null hypothesis. Um, so we see that the calculated chi-square value of 9.74 is greater than the table value of 3.84. So we're going to fail, I'm sorry, we're going to reject our null hypothesis. Um, so the purple plant is not heterozygous. So I hope that this is helpful. Remember that EPAO payment is just assessed by all.